Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Chavitz Chaim in the Sefer Mitzvah HaKatzar. And we are still in the Mitzvah Laisa, say the negative commandment, Kuf Lamed Beis, number 132. We're discussing the laws of Nida. And today he's going to get into the importance of a woman who has menstruated and gone through her cycle, how imperative it is that she goes to the mikvah. So says the Chavetz Chaim the following: This subject of the obligation that a woman has to go to immerse herself in a mikvah, in the ritual bath, so to speak, in order to purify herself from the impurities of nida. We don't really have to speak about it. Now the Chavetz Chaim is writing probably somewhere around 100 years ago. We pointed out that this Sefer was written towards the end of his life. He died in 1931. So we're talking about approximately 90, 95 years ago that he wrote these words. And he says, everybody knows that there's an obligation for a woman to go to the mikvah after she has gone through her menstruation cycle. This is a chiyuv, this is a Torah obligation that everyone is well aware of. A woman who did not yet go to the mikvah, she did not immerse herself in the waters. Even if there were many years that already transpired since she saw the initial uh, a menstrual cycle period, and even if she already is an older woman and she already went through menopause and she no longer sees any blood, she doesn't get a period anymore. However, she never went to the mikvah from her last period. On a biblical level, she is still going to be impure according to the Torah. From the time that she saw blood coming from her menstrual cycle and she did not yet purify herself. So that means a person is, a woman is walking around transgressing a biblical prohibition constantly for not going to the mikvah. The prohibition of being a woman and, or, and being a man that lies together with a woman in nida is something that is well known throughout the Jewish people. Even a little child who has a little bit of understanding and knowledge of the Chumash, of the Torah itself. The verses are filled with allusions and with commandments about Nida. As it says, It says explicitly, A woman that is in Nida, in the impurities of Nida, you're not allowed to uncover her nakedness. And at the end of that parsha in the Torah, it says, Anyone who does any of these abominations, whoever was engaged in this abomination, and it's referring to the laws of Nida as well, a woman that became Tameya, she became impure through the menstruation, and she did not yet go to the mikvah. So whoever was together with them, plus the woman herself, they get karis, they get cut off. Even the woman, she herself, even though she might be passive in the act of relations, nevertheless, she herself is the need, and therefore she is cut off for doing such a thing. Several times in the parsha, it refers to the to the to lying naked and having relations with a woman that's in need as a toeva as an abomination. It impurifies the land and impurifies the nefesh, the soul as well. And his nefesh will be cut off from the land of the living completely. He'll have nothing left. <coughs> Even if a goy would come along and force the man <coughs> to go and have relations with a woman that is in nida. So you have to give up your life for such a thing. You're not allowed to transgress this prohibition that the Torah says is from the Arayas, from the illicit relations of the Torah. It is equivalent to bowing down and worshipping an idol 
a man and a woman that end up having relations with each other when the woman has gone, is either in her menstrual cycle, has already passed the menstrual cycle, but has not yet gone to the mikveh and purified herself. It's a very big thing, says the Chavetz Chaim. It should be something that is well known, and therefore we should find that all of Klal Yisrael is keeping this mitzvah. It's not such a hard mitzvah. You go to the mikveh once a month and you purify yourself, but we will see, as the Chavetz Chaim says, that which bothers him is that it's not something that is being kept by all the Jewish women and the Jewish men, and we'll have to speak about why that is and what we can do to help this great mitzvah be kept in a much better way. Have a wonderful day.